Hello students. Welcome to today's screencast on library catalogs, specifically the Maybe Library Catalog. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a couple of searches and just kind of show you around the website for the catalog. And so we go to the Maybe Library website at www.washburn.edu forward slash maybe. And once you type that in, you'll get this page right here. It'll look pretty much like this all the time. And what we're going to focus in on is this little box right here. And you'll see that it says articles and databases, books and more, and search the library site. Search the library site actually will look within the website for information. Articles and databases will take you into the articles and databases for the library. But what we want to focus in on is books and more. So before we even get started, we want to take uh, whatever our topic is or whatever information we're looking for and have a, a pretty firm idea of, of what we're looking for. So today what we're going to search for is Kansas history. We're going to get a lot of results for this, but there's a reason why I want to show you around the website and it works best when you find something that has a lot of results. So as you can see, we have 10,000 749 results for Kansas history and that's a lot. One of the things that we want to do is we want to get familiar with what this page right here is telling us. There's this button right here that says availability. Availability means are you able to get that item through the library or through interlibrary loan or online as an electronic resource. It doesn't always mean that you can walk into the library and just actually pull it off a shelf. Now it breaks the search down into Kansas history as a subject, Kansas history in the title, or actually something in the author information that's for Kansas history such as maybe the Kansas Historical Museum. It breaks it down into the format, uh, printed materials, uh, manuscripts, uh, graphics like pictures, um, computer files, and if you click on this button right here, more, it'll break it down even further. It'll tell you VHS's, for instance, if you want it on DVD. It'll also break it down by the collection. When it talks about collection, it means where are the items located. So you'll see here that we have the Maybe Library, we have the Carnegie Education Library, the School of Law Library, the State Library of Kansas, the Kansas Historical Society, and if we click on there we also see that we get the Kansas Supreme Court Law Library. And then it also lists the titles that are available on the internet. Now when we look at languages, it's also going to break it down by the various languages that you can get this information in. English, of course, is going to be uh, the number one result that it gets, but you can see that there's a variety of other languages that you might be able to get materials in. It also breaks it down by publication date. So if you want something that was written within the last couple of years, you can click on one of these buttons and it's just going to be things that were printed in 2013 or 2012. And when you click on more, you'll see that this list gets greatly expanded and goes all the way back to, um, well, probably not this early, but there's titles that for whatever reason have these very, very early publication dates. If you're looking right around in this area, this is when Kansas received its statehood and so there are quite a few materials that are going to start popping, popping up around this time. So go ahead and take that down. And then it'll also break it down by place. Uh, Kansas, uh, the United States, Topeka, Lawrence, West. And then when you click on more there's uh, quite a few other ones. Now we're done looking at the left. Let's look, look over here on the right and we'll see that it says refined by tag. What this means is it's broken down a lot of the searches into um, keywords and it makes the word on this little graphic right here bigger depending on how many times that word shows up. So the really big words show up a lot and then the smaller words even less. And if you click on show more tags, it'll bring up this image right here and it's even further refined. So this is just a great way to kind of discover things. Um, much like browsing the shelf. Now for those people who um, revisit a topic over and over again and you don't want to redo that search and you just want to find new items, you can click on this uh, links over here for things that have been recently added. So if I click on the big divide here, 
I'll see that this is copyright 2013. So this is a brand new material that we have available here at the, at the library. Now let's say for instance that this book um, that we're looking for is available here at the library. So let's scroll down a bit and then we find this book right here. And we see that it is a book that is about Kansas history. And we want to know if it's actually available for checkout. So if we click on this little orange, sometimes blue link right here, it'll show us where it's available. It's available at the maybe library and we call that the stacks. That means it's on the shelf. And then it's also available at the Kansas State Historical Society Library. Now, if you follow this over, you'll get the call number, and we're going to talk about that in another lesson. But it's also going to tell you to it's actually on the shelf. Now, let's do a search for a book that is checked out and see what that looks like. We wanted to find a book called Ike's Bluff, and we see here that there's a sound recording and that there's also a book. Now, the book is available, we can see here, because it says check shelves. Now, if we wanted the audio version through the State Library, we would see that it says due July 29th, 2013. That's how we know that the item actually is not available just yet. One final thing about using this interface for the library catalog is that if you notice up here, it says advanced search. And much like how we do database searching, you'll see that there's a lot of those same options here as well. You can look for keyword, title, subject, or author. You can add another search box so that you can do, for instance, Kansas history. And you can say the format you want is, say, a DVD. You want to make sure that it's actually at the maybe library. You'd like it to be in English, and you'd like it to be within the last 10 years. So let's see what we get here. Here we go. We got a list of 27. It says that 24 of them are actually in the library. And so we have um, a variety of different DVDs that you can get here at the library. Now, when we click on this More button, we'll see that it has it by publication date, so that most of these are actually fairly new. And then it has the places that are listed within these DVDs. One last thing before we go is if you look here at the bottom, you'll see that uh, related searches box that we're talking about again. But you'll also see your recent searches here, all the things that we've searched for recently. And then you'll also see items that we've clicked on recently. So just another way to kind of keep up to date with what you've been doing while you're looking for a book. This completes the screencast on using the library catalog. I wish you the best of luck, and if you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you.